Welcome to the Corvette channel. My name is Scott and today I get to do something I've been wanting to do for a long time is put in my Swiss Trax flooring in my garage. I'm happy to announce that Swiss Trax flooring has decided to sponsor the Corvette channel. Let me tell you a little bit about them. They're located in Indio, California and they supply flooring to some of the largest automotive associations in the, in the world. They supply the flooring from NASCAR, Barrett Jackson, and Nikom Auctions, just to name a few of them. So I'm going to go ahead and get the car out of the garage and we're going to start laying the tiles down and putting them in place. I'm going to have my wife and my two granddaughters helping me. Um, so uh, we're going to have this camera running and then we'll also do it in a time lapse. So that way we're not tying you up for a long time. But uh, it looks like it's going to be fairly simple to do. So uh, just sit back and watch. Thanks. Okay, so I got the car out of the garage, but before I get started, I wanted to be able to show you that I'm starting out with an epoxy floor. Um, Last night, before I announced this on Facebook uh, on, on the Corvette channel that I was going to be putting in the Swiss Trax flooring and I actually had a few of the viewers uh, reach out and say, well, do you like that better than the epoxy? And I, I'm like, yeah, I do. Epoxy is really nice. It looks clean. It, it's easy to keep clean. Um, but uh, I had over the, over the time, I had laid carpet down over it because I really just didn't really like how it looked. So um, I'm really, really stoked about the idea of being able to put this flooring in. I always have ever since I saw it, um, but uh, finally a dream gets to come true that I get to do it. Sit back, relax, I'll be introducing you to my granddaughters and my wife here in a minute, and we'll go from there. Okay guys, I told you I was going to have my wife and my granddaughters be helping me, so I just wanted to introduce you to them. This is my wife Jennifer. Hi everyone. This is Cassidy. <laughs> And this is Jessica. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so they're going to be helping me with the with getting the tiles and putting them in place. And uh, we're just going to try to make it a little family thing today and show you just how easy it can be to be able to put this down. So thanks for watching. Okay, so first thing I want to do is show you a little bit about the tiles themselves. Now like I told you in the beginning, the box has actually got, every box actually has the instructions for this, so this isn't something that's really hard to find or figure out. But when you're starting to do this, we're actually going to build the first three rows of our flooring, and then, and then have also having the front trim, these little guys here, the edging, we're going to have those all the way across the garage. So once we get those snapped in place the way we want, then we'll close the garage door and we'll actually push that floor up against the garage door to make a nice tight, tight fit. Okay, so as it works out, we're actually going to be going up against that edge over there. So we're not burning any of the tiles on that side. We'll be doing all of the trimming on that side of the garage. That happens to work out for me, but that, that doesn't always mean that that's going to be the case for you. So you may end up having the way whatever design you came up with you may have to trim on both sides and that's just the nature of the beast there's no way of being able to get around that I just lucked out on mine so um, so on this one we're just gonna start right from the very beginning it's gonna go all the way across the front doing the first first pattern the second row and then the third row and then like I said we'll slide that forward once we and then close the girl well, we'll close the garage door first slide it forward make sure it's nice seat, nice fit, and then we'll continue doing the rest of the garage. So the first one that you're going to do is it's going to be a flat edge facing forward of the garage and then you're starting from basically the left of the garage and that lock get, ends up getting burned. You're not going to use this piece, it's just going to butt up against the, uh, the base of the wall and then you want to be able to have about a quarter of an inch from the wall to this for expansion purposes. And then at that point that leaves you with a nice smooth finish in the front 
a smooth edge onto this side where the next tile will actually lock onto it. Okay, and then the front trim actually locks into the front of that. Okay, so you'll see this as we go, and we'll uh, I'll take a close-up picture of it so you can see exactly how this this goes together. Like I was just saying, we're just going to take these little guys and put one out here like so. We're going to lock it down. And you'll hear them click, and then you're just going to just keep adding them on. going to basically go right into that corner on this particular one. Now like I said, you may have to, based off of your garage, you may have to make a, make a different change. Now one thing I did, didn't mention, which I should, is that once you get your garage all emptied out, the best, your best you can, you want to make sure that, the, that you've swept your floor and got it cleaned up underneath, so it makes it just you don't have any debris underneath there. So. Let's see here. And this one goes like this. We've almost got our whole front row already done. So like I said, it's not rocket science or anything like that. It's just a matter of clicking them in place. I can tell you from experience that the design... Sorry about the noise in the cars, guys. But I can tell you from... The design, I think, was the most most troubled part for me. And when I reached out to uh, reached out to Swiss Tracks, they were like, "Oh, no problem. We'll be able to help you with that." And then they sent me over sent me over the the design and uh, figured it all out. So, as you can see here, we've got pretty much we've got the first row built. Okay guys, so as you can see from the first row, it really wasn't hard to install those. So Jessica was over here going, well, Grandpa, I want to be able to do some of these. So I said, well, why not? So she's putting them in herself. So so if you guys have a granddaughter, you know, that you just want to have, put them to work, you can, you can do that and you can sit back and have a cold beer. <laughs> Guys, this is really, really simple to do. Um, so as as Jesse's putting this down, and um, Cassie's handing her the tiles, um, we're gonna do we're gonna do complete this row. We're gonna do one more row, and then at that point, we're gonna go ahead and close the garage door and uh, get the tiles aligned just perfectly, um, and then that way we can go ahead and move it all the way back. Now you notice that there's a few things in the garage that are fairly heavy and that I just couldn't just move out. Um, so we'll actually lay the um, we'll lay the tiles down uh, right to that point, and then we'll just like lift up the pinball machine and the toolboxes, and we'll uh, we'll just roll them up onto the floor um, to get them out of the way, and then we'll you know put the tiles down where they need to go, and we'll move everything back. Okay, so here we're working on the on the third row. I don't think I get to install any of this today. Maybe some of the other stuff when they get bored. But the fun stuff that she's doing right here, which is actually laying it all out with the design, um, you know, she decided she wanted to do this. So, yeah. Those of you grandparents out there, I'm sure you're you totally can appreciate this at this point. 
we had a, I had a bunch of stuff in this garage yesterday um, that I knew was needing to be out of here and uh, didn't want to put it back in. Um, so we went and we built a shed. And so Jessica got her uh, got herself. Uh, she decided she was going to be helping me today or yesterday build that shed. And so um, she uh, she got to play with the first power tools yesterday. And that was pretty exciting for her. So she's just taking it one step further now. This will look good on your resume, Jesse. Absolutely. You can install Swiss tracks this morning. Cassidy is the good little helper. I always knew it would. I always knew it would look awesome once it, it was the. This was the final, final piece to the garage. Okay, so we've got the we got the first three rows done, and so now what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, shut the camera off. We're going to bring it inside, close the garage door, and we're going to push it up against the door to get a good seal, and then we'll take off with the rest of it. So something I wanted to point out, when we laid this down, we actually got it pretty darn close, and it looks like the builder on my house actually got the thing right. Um, the, a lot of times this track will actually be inboard uh, more, and you'll have to trim around that to be able to get this edge. Now, right here is right where my, the little bit of a ramp is, uh, where it tapers down right right in this area here and this is exactly where you want these t these um, these trim pieces to go okay so guys what we're getting ready to do here the girls are going to take up the center jennifer and i are going to do on the outside edges and we're just going to take we're just going to ever so lightly just push the floor up against the garage door to get rid of the gap so we have a nice seal and then it's up against the the footer up in the front of the garage so okay guys just go ahead and push just that little bit, we get it. Okay, and it looks like that went fine. Looks like we're there. Okay, so we had gotten it pretty close in the very beginning, but it just needed a little, little snugging up. Okay, so now we can open up the garage door and get some more light in here, and we can start building our floor. So I wanted to point out here that you want to make sure that this gap, that you have at least a quarter of an inch gap here for expansion. So what I did, it was right up against the the um, the footer there, and I just, uh, with not standing on the floor, I just took a screwdriver and I just wedged it out just a little bit to be able to get that little bit of a gap. So now we've got everything all dialed in as far as the depth of the garage and where the tiles are going now. So we're just literally just going to start building, building the floor or the pattern with the with the flooring. So as you can see now, Cassie's getting used to doing it too, so she's, she's having a good time with it. This is really not hard, as you can see. Um, I have laid like a whole, you know, 10 tiles, I think, in the very beginning, and the rest of them, the girls have done. So those of you guys that are going to want to do these in your garage, just, you know, have your, girl, your, uh, your, your granddaughters over for the weekend, and they'll be able to take care of it for you. <laughs> <laughs> So we've moved the pinball machine out of the way so she can get on underneath there. And then we've got a few more rows and then we'll be able to put the pinball machine back in place. So 
So I kid you not guys, I can't get I can't get a chance to even put any down. She likes doing this that much that she just wants to keep doing it. So and that's okay. She's having a good old time. She's only got this row to complete and one more uh, one more row and then that'll be the end of the red and then it'll start closing off and creating the square in the center. So we're the floor's going together really fast. So as you can see guys, we're coming down on the back row here and the gap is going to be just a little bit less than a full tile. So this is the last row that the, that the girls are just going to be able to snap in place. What we're going to have to do after that is we're going to have to start um, cutting them uh, so to you know to fit them in. So it will it will take a little bit of work on the very back part of it and on this one side, but um, for the most part, it's uh, it's gone very quickly. So um, yeah, we'll go we'll go from there. And here comes the last tile right here. And then we'll have to start cutting everything. I want to make sure that I make it really clear here uh, when you're cutting these, just for um, where you don't end up with a, uh, a, ch a chipped edge or you end up screwing up the, the edge that's going to be visible. You want to take and use some sort of tape, and I use a blue masking tape, you can use anything, but you want to put that on the edge that's actually going to be cut. What that'll do is that this side might actually get the plastic might chip. This, this isn't the piece you're using. The piece that we're going to be keeping and using is this piece, so it's going to protect that edge, and it's going to be nice and clean when you go to install it. So like I was telling you, we were going to have to do some cutting here. So what I did is I measured this piece out here and then uh, you just saw in the video um, Jennifer showed me cutting this edge. So we cut this edge off here for the depth and then we cut around here for this cabinet. So this should go right in and at that point we'll be able to go all the way down the rest of the, the uh, tiles up until we get rid of this, this footer piece and then we'll have to change our dimension. But I measure each one of the tiles as we go so you don't end up with these big jagged marks all the way around. Okay, so all I'm doing here is I'm just gonna lift the, tile, the edge of the tile up here. I'm gonna put that in there in place where I, I've cut it and we're gonna lock it in place. Here's a prime example of exactly what I was talking about. The tooth from the saw actually grabbed this edge and it chipped it back. So you can see right here that it's, it's broke off. Now this, lucky for us, this is the piece that we're throwing away. But otherwise we'd have a broken tile. This is one of the compound cuts that you're going to have to make. All the other ones so far have just been very simple. But what you want to do is you're going to want to measure you don't want to measure from here to here. Remember, you need to have the quarter inch gap there uh, for expansion. So basically that's going to end up putting it on the outside edge of this. And then that's going to go all the way to here, which is going to cover this piece here. And then we're going to turn and we're going to go inboard. We're going to cut this part off. That's going to cut this piece out. Once we get that done, then we can go ahead. So you can see right there, that'll be this, this piece here. Then we'll come back and we'll figure out exactly what our depth is here 
so we don't overcut this piece off, but this is going to continue so the other tiles will match right up to it. Okay, so we've got it cut, we've got this piece cut off, so now it's just a matter of setting this thing in place. Tucked in there like so. And you're good to go. At that point, we can continue to move on. We're just going to have to trim those up all the way down. So we made it down the left side of the garage, and now we're moving along the back of the garage. And uh, definitely a lot slower moving as you're cutting these tiles uh, than it was when the granddaughters were putting all the other tiles in. Okay, so Jessica decided to come back and visit Grandpa for a little while, so she said to start helping me put in the back, the hard pieces, since she did all the easy part earlier. So, <laughs> so my other granddaughter, Cassie, decides she's going to come back and help me too, which is really nice. I thought she had abandoned me. So she decided she wanted to help put in the last few tiles too. So here she is helping me again. It's hey, nice. No, have to do a corner. Do you miss a spot? There you go. Push it down. All right. We're on our last tile, and the girls are putting it in now. And last. First and then. Okay. You get it? No. Um, no. Okay, I got it. Alright, okay. there we are. So guys, hopefully you found this entertaining and that you can see how easy it is to install these floors and you can have your grandkids or your kids help you do it. Hopefully that appealed to you guys. I had a great time doing it. I was going to make this a real serious video, but once the girls jumped in and wanted to help, I just couldn't help but resist that I thought this would be really cool that I showed this off to you that the kids can help. I want to take this time to thank Swiss Tracks Flooring for sponsoring the Corvette channel. They've been courteous enough to be able to allow me to give you guys a 10% discount off of your flooring and all you need to do is mention the code Corvette Channel when you call in to do your order. Check out their website. They've got plenty of different ideas and designs on the website, but they also have a design tool that you can figure out exactly what you're going to need and how you want to lay it out. And if you are having a problem with that, feel free. You can call them. They will help you with the design. They're, they're great people, and you'll enjoy talking to them, and they'll help you along the way. So again, Swiss Tracks, thank you for sponsoring us, and you guys all have a good night. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell.